y'all happy new year it's your girl tequila joseph with my first 2021 youtube upload and guys today we're talking about this look my everyday routine um and this look is like especially for if you're wearing masks where well, we all have to wear masks so like some of the stuff that we did in the video is specialized like the way we prime and the way we apply this stuff it was placed specially for when you're wearing a mask so guys you have to keep on looking to see how i created this amazing everyday drugstore with mask wearable makeup look yeah so all of that but guys before we go into that remember to subscribe to this channel become a part of the notification gang and leave a thumbs up on this video share it with your friends and your family and also let me know down in the comments what type of videos you guys would like to see from me in 2021 whether it be more singleness videos relationship videos well not in relationships it can't be relationship videos but singleness videos makeup videos devotional videos just let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see from me in 2021 right and guys remember to follow me on instagram follow my company page tequila limited and as you guys know tequila limited is my company and there we do god life and makeup we do faith inspiration and life so we start like bibles books faith-based apparel we do makeup so guys go follow me at tequila limited follow tequila apparel follow tequila makeup so that you guys will be able to just stay up to date with what's happening in my world in my company right and also follow my personal page island girl tiki follow me on instagram so let's get into the douchey stuff this way So y'all know we could not have started off our first video of 2021 without me encouraging you guys, without me giving you guys some pointers to go through the year with. And I have about five pointers for you guys. And my number one pointer is relationship with God. This year we're working on our relationship with God and our intimacy with God. Honestly, after 2020, all 2020 have taught me is to like the only way to go through bad days and hard days is to make sure that you have your relationship with god and your intimacy with god is on point and some ways to do that would be to stick in your word right because the bible says that the word of god that's our weapon right you have to make sure you put on the full armor of god and part of the full armor of god is the word of god and that's the only way that you will be able to fight back on those bad days when the enemy throws wicked darts your way the only way that you will be able to fight back is if you have on the full armor of god and let me tell you this the word is the sword and it could tear through any and everything so Going back to number one, staying in the spirit, staying connected to God, staying in relationship with God. You need the word of God to keep you to that point. So like you can do devotionals on the Bible app, right? You can order study Bible at Tequila Limited um, and just do like chapter by chapter. If you watch my devotional video, you would see how we do devotion. You can do Google in scriptures. You can do journal in your prayers. But guys, the point is consistently daily because we are living life daily so you can't expect to go to god once a week and then for him to sustain you daily no you need to go to him daily because you need him to sustain you daily so for sure number one is stay in the spirit all year long you have to stay in the word of god that's the only thing that would pull you through 2021 we really don't know what 2021 have in store but god knows right and we want to be connected to the person who knows all because he would be the only one really able to sustain us through 21 because he alone knows what the future holds so that's my point number one stay in the spirit stay in relationship with god stay connected to god so my point number two So my point number two is set goals, but set smart goals. So when I say smart goals, and obviously I did my course with Brand Source, and this is something that I pulled out from doing my course with Brand Source, right? Go to my IGTV section and you find out about this course that I did 
with um brand sauce i did this biz bundle course and it was super amazing and one of the stuff that i pulled out from that course is to set smart goals so guys when we go into this year we know year is a new year everybody pumped and ready but you have to set smart goals smart goals meaning that make sure that your goals are specific so you need to be really specific as the word of god says write the vision make it plain so be specific make it plain make it clear as to what your goals are you need to make sure that the goals are measurable make sure that the goals are meaningful make sure that the goals mean something to you like you just don't want to be setting goals and it's just like well you see somebody else doing something so you want to do it make sure that the goal is meaningful because that would you know cause you to continuously chase after the goal to chase after you know making sure that this thing happen once it's measurable once it's motivational to you once it's meaningful right and then a is make sure that the goal is achievable make sure that it's that it's attainable you don't want to be setting goals and it's just out of this world and there's no way in the time or the day in, in like in just in your life it has nothing to do with your business because you see somebody on social media doing this that means you want to do it too make sure that the goals are attainable you understand so meaningful and attainable goals hand in hand make sure that it's achievable make sure that it's something that you know that you can achieve but because of laziness you didn't achieve it because of inconsistency because of uh, you know you not being um punctual you didn't achieve it right so make sure that it's attainable achievable right so and then you need to make sure that the goals also are realistic right so you need to make sure that the goals are realistic that goes back to attainable realistic meaning that you can really do it right now look kind of out of the world well i want to go to mass this year and you know like you never study to go to mass like you like you know those kind of things like like so like you want to do this this year but you know like make sure it's realistic goals right and then for sure for sure for t you have to make sure that you put a time stamp on that goal like you just don't want to be going around and saying well you know what i want to launch this by this time and you have no date and no time set to do this thing so you need to make sure that you put time stamps on all your goals like i have in my room i have goals for well, I had goals from June to December 2019. I had seven of them. I think I um, achieved like about three of them out of the seven, which I think was really good because I because I only did them in June to December. So I think that was real good. And you all know I had the RA20 project. So in order to still achieve three goals out of the seven goals, I thought that was so amazing. But they were smart goals, right? What I mean? So let's go over smart again. So you have to make sure that the goals are specific. You have to make sure that it's measurable. You have to make sure that it's attainable or achievable. You have to make sure that it's realistic. And you must put a timestamp on your goal. Go easy on yourself, right? You could always start again tomorrow. I know we get hot and sweaty. We do our smart goals, but it's like, guys, some of us be battling with um, not being consistent and not staying committed, right? So go easy on yourself. You have each day to start over, right? Don't make nobody make you feel anyhow. This is between you and God. This is between you and yourself you are trying to work on 2021 you understand you are setting these goals for yourself so let's just say for instance you do a bible plan you do a bible study you miss a day as i always say it's okay do it the next day if you miss two days just don't miss three days just do it right you have each day to start new yeah so people feel because um it is a new year it's like wow you know you're gonna set all these crazy goals but every week you have a new week you have a new day so set goals for the week i just want to exercise twice for the week you understand i just want to exercise once for the week so instead of being harsh on yourself set weekly goals you understand i want to go to the gym once i want to make sure i just do a bible plan just for three days start small and work your way up don't be too hard on yourself as i said start again every day every day is a new day and a new opportunity to start over again do not let social media get you into that whole being hard on yourself and you're seeing everybody looking so small and living their best life. No, 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 no. You need to be able to know that you have every day and every week to start again, to set new goals. You understand? Even though you messed up last week, try again in the next week. And I realized that one of the keys to success is being consistent. You understand? Consistency will take you places that 
degrees can't take you you understand what i mean like you have to be consistent it's so 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 super important you understand so that's it for number three start again each day and number four is for us entrepreneurs I want you guys to remember to sell yourself shamelessly and this is something else that I got from brand source so if you guys want to know what I'm talking about brand source is like my plug where I get all my business advice I did a course with them um, late last year and it was so super amazing so sell yourself shamelessly I know a lot of us we're entrepreneurs you know 2021 just you know had us coming up with new ideas some of us we started businesses in 2021 and I want you guys to remember to shamelessly sell yourself believe in your brand believe in what you're selling and sell it shamelessly charge what your word guys you understand what i mean do everything to the best of your ability my saying for this year is i represent god like my business has god all over it and i want to make sure that when i'm representing god that i do it out of a place of abundance and not out of a place of lack so anything that i'm doing i'm doing it to the best of my ability and i'm doing it good you understand what i mean and i'm selling myself boldly and proudly i'm not being ashamed of my brand i'm not being ashamed about what i'm doing in this season i'm doing it with the utmost just um spirit of proudness you understand you know just being proud that god blessed me with his brand and god blessed me with his company and i'm going to just do it shamelessly and i want to encourage you guys to do the same thing no shame in selling your business no shame in selling your brand this year yeah so that's it for number four you're selling yourself shamelessly and for number five for my singles out there advice for you guys this year is enough of people telling you you're not in a relationship because you're not in a relationship because but maybe you have to do this and you have to do that and you know what i come to the realization that it's so sad that other people would make single people feel like they need to do works for god to give them a man like that's so low like you need to work on yourself so that god will get you a man so you know working on yourself for you you working on yourself because you want god to give you a man which i find don't make any sense so this year i want to encourage all my singles to work on you for you right and protect your space protect your energy don't let people come in and tell you well you're single because you didn't do this or you're single because you need to work on this you need to work on that work on those things for you you understand what i mean yes they would be very helpful for when you get into a relationship but sometimes we could be just doing all these things and thinking well okay when i finish work on my relationship with my dad then god will send a man well when i finish you know work on this anger issue then god will send a man and then when you work on all these things and god will send him money and then you're vexed with god you understand and that don't make any sense work on these things for you work on these things for yourself and don't allow anybody to tell you this year that you're single because god knows why you're single when it's time he will send a man it doesn't matter what you do or how you do it if it's not time he will not send him you understand what i'm saying so work on you for you work on you because you want to be a better person work on you because you want to live in purpose and you want to do what god created you to do in this earth you understand like we can't let our entire life be boiled up in well when i meet a man i will do this or when i meet my husband i will do this or you know maybe if i do this god will give me my husband no i don't have anything against preparing for that time preparing for that time is amazing you understand what i mean but don't just have it in your mind that i'm going to do all of these works and then god is going to send somebody to me no do all of these works for you do it because you want to be who god created you to be like you want to be your best self and let that guy come and meet you living and being your best self like it's so low i find to just do all these works like you know maybe if i do devotions more and i build a relationship with christ that you know the christian man will come around no do it for god because you need it for yourself you understand what i mean so that's my encouragement i had to put an encouragement in there as number five for you singles my encouragement for you guys this year so let's go over here to the makeup video here
So because we're trying to get the makeup to stay on because we have to wear a mask, you have to kind of prime your face a little different. So that is one step that I want you guys to pay a lot of attention to. You must prime your face a little different. So I would moisturize the morning before I put on makeup, like earlier before or the night before. Like I really don't want to moisturize soon, like right before I put on makeup. I don't want to moisturize right before I put on makeup. I want to moisturize the night before or very early in the morning if I'm wearing makeup late in the afternoon, right? So I would just go in with my toner knowing that I moisturize um, the night before or earlier on in the morning, right? So I would go in with my toner first and I'm using this Ole toner. If you have seen my video, you would know how to prep your face before you do makeup. So what I do is I just go in with my pad and I tone my face, right? Right? I just do tone up because you don't want to put anything too oily. Like you don't want to have your face too oily, too much greasy stuff on it before you put on the makeup because the mask will kind of shift everything that's happening there. So we have to be really limited in the stuff that we put on, right? So then I'm going with my matte primer. So I go into my Becca, like so. Just take a little bit, like so, yeah. And I'm gonna put it on the areas that I am very oily. Like so to have this stay good, you need to prime like a boss. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go in with my calamine lotion over my mattifying primer, right? Because it's all about having it stay under the mask. Very smooth amounts all over my face. So guys, the key for when I'm finished putting on my calamine lotion is to make sure that it is dry before I put on anything else on my face so this has to dry so i'm just going to leave it for a couple seconds for it to dry now that our face our kind of my lotion is dry on our face this is what we want so we have only mattifying primer underneath and then we be and then we coated it with the color my lotion to the top and we make sure that it's dry so as you can see my color my lotion is not looking um bulky like you must put this on really smooth guys and then this is the crucial step that you guys need to remember. So I'm about to take a brush and I'm going to go into my satin powder and I'm setting my face before I apply foundation. So this is kind of like a triple primer rule and it's pretty safe for your face because it's setting powder, it's regular primer and it's color my lotion over the primer, right? So it's pretty safe for your face and then you're gonna go in so this is for especially when you're in a mask and then you're going to set the color mine. You set it with the setting powder before you apply your foundation. Pressing it in, pressing it in, pressing it in. So it's very crucial that you set your face with the setting powder on top of the calamine lotion and the backup primer because this is what we want we want the makeup not to move when we put on the mask right i'm gonna go into foundation and i'm using my favorite foundation so whenever i'm doing this look i use this foundation so i'm using the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear right i think this is a really matte foundation this stays really well on my face and i really don't have a shade so i'm mixing 515 and 510 and the names of it are um hazelnut is 510 and copper is 515 so you can get this at the drugstore so these are drugstore products i'm going to use more drugstore products so that's easier for you guys to get and it's affordable remember that we're in a pandemic people are losing jobs people are getting cutbacks in salaries you know play it smart yeah so let's go
I'm gonna go with my beauty blender. My beauty blender is dying, but. The idea is to have everything layered, smooth, and matte. So when I went in with my beauty blender, it assured me that everything was in good. I didn't want anything to be lifting off of my skin or anything like that. Now I'm going in with my concealer and I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible. So what I do is I use the same highlighter or concealer. I use the same concealer and foundation. So as you guys saw, I use my infallible foundation and I'm now I'm using my infallible, my L'Oreal Infallible concealer. Now this is the new L'Oreal Infallible, right? Or this is a new L'Oreal foundation. The other one in a small tiny bottle, that's a bit oily, but I love that foundation because I don't like dry face. I do not like to see somebody wearing a dry face at all. I like to see, you no, know, you know, that melanin popping, really nice, you know, thing happening there, yeah? So these are my, and these are actually my go-to concealers now. Um, I hardly use Elegil concealer. I more so use these. They go for like $100 CT. You can get them at Pennywise at the drugstore, anything like that. So this is my go-to concealer. And I'm going to go in with the lighter concealer first. And then I'm going to put the darker one to the top. Because this is our everyday look. So we don't want the face to be looking too, you know, out there. So guys, I use 405 and now I'm going to go in with the 410 on top of the 405 just to give it a nice, as I said, I put the lighter one to the bottom and then I put the darker one to the top. Then I go in with my beauty blender, which is dying, but mm, whatever. You guys see I didn't blend it all the way in because sometimes when you blend it all the way in then you look like you don't have on any concealer and we want to see the highlight we just don't want it to be cakey right so then I'm gonna go with my contour stick this is caro black opal caro and I'm going to allow my contour to just be placed right there, right there. I blend up my nose with my finger every time. This is a crucial part. You pull from your eyebrows down to your nose. Right? Eyebrows down to your nose yeah so as you guys could see where i apply the contour i don't really have to apply any here because the foundation is pretty close so what i'll do i'll just apply the powder here yeah So as we see, it wasn't plenty. This is where we add. Now, the satin is a bit different, right? I'm going to go in with my Sasha setting powder. Today. 
guys after we have already gotten to this point we still have to set our wrong fees which is the most important part because the mass is going to be going right here so here has to be set really good really 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 good so i'm going to my sasha my darker sasha obviously and i'm just gonna go in with the darker one and press it in but because the contour already here nothing wouldn't happen it's like you're sat on the contour which you're supposed to do yeah So you're pressing it in but you see that it's not taken away from the contour that's already there it's just working with it so guys this is also an important part as to how do you get the contour to look like it's coming out of the eyebrows you have to go up like this with your brush Let's go up like this with your brush after you're doing that then you're going to conceal on the eyebrows so the key for this part is you really don't want to do that much work on the eyebrow you want to kind of use it for what it really is So I say go on the days where we do those big, thick, drawn on eyebrows where it's just looking greasy and oily and no, we're not doing that. So I'm going to go in with my 415, that's the darker one that I used. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the 410. Actually the 410 is the darker one that I used, the 415 is even darker than that one. But the key thing is this right guys you pay less attention to your eyebrows i think people let their eyebrows trouble them so much that they take up so much time on the eyebrows and the rest of the face is a mess and this technique is the face you're focusing on the eyebrows is just like a bonus you understand you have to put the focus in on your face i go back in there and i make sure that this is set good and then you have to put the focus in on your face not so much because the brows you know you just feather it in nicely if you don't have brows no problem you can do them before so to draw my eyebrows in this is what i use i use my maybelline brow ultra tin this is my favorite pencil to draw my eyebrows because it gives me nice strokes instead of you know that harsh gel liner finish so this is why i like to use it In, guys in 2021 this is the only type of eyebrows we want to see we do not want to see any very 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 harsh sculpt dark wet eyebrows we're not doing it period yeah okay good so this is where we are at and guys this is basically the look you know and then i'll just touch it up um touch up the sides 
with a little bit of um blush yes yeah, so i'll go with my blush from my juvia's palette So I bounced up on this satin spray here. It's the Maybelline Last and Fix. And guys, it actually works. So this has been my go-to for like about two months now. Yes, I just shake it well. I shake it well, then I just go up. Good. Then I'm gonna go in with my brush. Or if you want better yet, go in with your blender. Make sure everything is in there good. You'll know how I feel about this. Make sure that satin spray is going in to the areas that it needs to go into. Yeah, so I'm using my blender. And my beauty blender is not wet. It's rather damp, yeah? Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put on my bronzer. Guys, this look is so quick and easy. So I'm going with this one right here. This is my blush, this is my bronzer. This is my blush, this is my bronzer. So with this look, because I'm wearing a mask, I want the wings to make my eyes look pretty. You really want to make sure that your eyes look pretty because the mask is there you really can't see your face so the wings give it a nice flare and then i don't put any liner underneath because i don't want when you look at me you just see darkness here i want the wings to give my eyes a pretty look So guys, I I have my wings on. I put on my mascara, then I put on my lashes. I've been using these lashes for like a long while, so they fit my eye really well. So I find that when I wear lashes for the first time, it, it just annoys me. Only when I'm on like my fourth wear of the same lashes, then it really takes shapes to my eye. Then it really takes the shape to my eye and it fits really well. So this is like my sixth time wearing these lashes that I'm about to put on. I'm just putting my mascara, then I'm putting on my lashes. For me, it's way easier this way than putting on the mascara after. Before I used to put on the mascara after, but now I don't. Now I don't put on the mascara after. And for this wing, I prefer to use gel liner it gives me a more like instead of the glossy look with the liquid it gives me a more um matte kind of dark black look which i like look it's coming together as you guys can see the um lashes and the wing liner you guys saw what it did there so i love it and then i would go to the bottom here and i put on my mascara And with this look, you can change your lipstick. So you can wear a nude lipstick, a pink lipstick. As you guys saw on my stories on Tequila Limited, I had on a nude lipstick and then I had on a pink lipstick with it. So it's really optional. But look at the look. You see in the contour areas, you see in the highlight areas, it's not too much. The eyebrows are nice and feathered. The wing liner and the lashes is just doing its own thing there. And then just a little mascara to the bottom. So I'm about to apply my lipstick off camera and then I'll see you guys on the outro. So guys, this is the makeup lip that we created today. I did a nude lip, but obviously with this look, as I told you guys, you can do a nude, a colored, 
doesn't matter i'll pop into pictures here where i did a nude with it then i did a color with it guys remember to shop tequila apparel go and go on the tequila apparel page and you and you'll be able to purchase all of our beautiful merchandise go on tequila makeup so what we're doing on tequila makeup right now is because you all know that my page was hacked so i'm trying to create a portfolio page where i just have all my makeup looks right so i'm trying to gather as much of my makeup looks so that you guys will be able to find my makeup looks when you go on instagram because now um i lost all of them so i kind of had to search through and find as much as i can and usually when people come to do their face they'll be like oh gosh where your pictures are so now i'm creating a place just where we can find my makeup pictures at any time and at any day so follow Sakita makeup and there you'll be able to book your appointments to find out about classes and just see everything that's going on over on that page and guys i'm going into the daniel fast on sunday and um i don't know if i'll do some videos with like um what i'm cooking and what i'm doing on the daniel fast but i thought i'd just update you guys that i'm going into the daniel fast for the first time i've never done the daniel fast before so i'm kind of interested to see how my body reacts to it but in 2020 i fast so much guys that i think that my body is kind of used to fasting you know um so that's just a little update and thank you guys for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment and subscribe give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends and your family until next time remember to leave in the comment what type of videos you would like to see from me next in 2021 and let's get the ball rolling thank you guys for watching until next time bye bye